super-powered pistol shrimp to the scary-looking undersea woodlouse. Here are 11 of the most bizarre crustaceans. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 11, Gribbles. These small marine isopods with the cute name are comprised of about 56 species, and they have a diet that is unlike any of the fellow crustaceans. While they do bore into plant material for food, it seems a greater amount of sustenance comes from boring into timber that drifts to sea. That is, they feed on submerged wood. Their termite-like diet helps Gribbles play an ecological role by helping to recycle driftwood, and research has indicated that the enzymes they use during the feeding process is effective in transforming wood cellulose into simple sugars that are rich in energy. If that process were able to be replicated, it could potentially provide a liquid source of renewable biofuel. Number 10. Whale lice. They're not true lice, which are insects. These creatures are crustaceans that are noted for being external parasites, inhabiting the skin lesions, eyes, nostrils, and genital folds of marine mammals. And despite being termed whale lice, they're also found on dolphins and porpoises. Depending on the species, they can measure up to 25 millimeters long and will cling to its host with three pairs of back legs that have claw-like protuberances. Did you know that every species of whale has a specific species of whale lice associated with it. Around 7,500 lice are thought to live on a single whale. Number 9. Now, if you like action movies, you know that sometimes the hero has to take drastic measures to save the day. Such was the case with an unidentified crab on the remote island of Clipperton in the Pacific. That was the scene of a gritty showdown between the crustacean and some booby birds, who caught him and his mate raiding the nest. As the much larger birds swooped in for vengeance, our hero became separated from his comrades, and after the boobies severely injured his claw, it seemed the birds were ready to deliver a killing Heck. But this courageous crustacean was not about to be taken out that easily. The critter actually cut off its injured appendage and limped away to fight another day. For the records, the crab's decision may have been somewhat easy since the claws do regenerate, but I say it was still a gutsy decision. In a world of action heroes, this just might be the Chuck Norris of crustaceans. Number 8. Remipeds and that is one of several pronunciations we found for this critter. Measuring around one and a half inches long and comprised of 42 body segments, these animals may look like centipedes, but they're actually crustaceans. However, experts tell us they are closely related to insects and are the first of their kind found to be venomous. They have hollow-tipped fangs, to deliver venom that contains a mix of toxins which serve to paralyze its victims and break down body tissue, making the victims easier to digest. Experts think the venom is an adaptation to their environment. The creatures are found in underwater caves off the Caribbean, the Canary Islands, and Western Australia. Number 7. Santa Claus. Around Christmas time in 2011, a fisherman pulled an unusual present from the sea off the coast of Dorset in the UK, an albino lobster. The crustacean was handed over to the Sea Life Center in Weymouth, where it was christened Santa Claus, and has since become a popular attraction there. This particular Santa was thought to have been around 30 years old at the time, pretty remarkable since albino creatures are not known to survive so long in the wild. The lack of coloration makes it difficult for them to approach and capture prey, and often increases the chances of becoming prey themselves. While Santa doesn't seem to exhibit the pink eyes characteristic of an albino, our sources do claim he is such and is not leukistic. Did you know that odds of finding an albino lobster are around 1 in 100 million? Number 6. Catching the Blues. We just told you about a white lobster, and you've no doubt seen a red lobster, but how about a blue lobster? It was trapped by a fisherman in Maine. The creature is so unique that experts tell us only one lobster in two million possessed this blue coloration. The strange condition is a result of the crustacean overproducing a particular protein, which is due to a genetic defect. The fisherman, to his credit, gave the two-pound lobster to the Maine State Aquarium, where it joined three of its blue brothers. Number 5. 
pistol shrimp. These small crustaceans are known for having a disproportionately large claw, which is bigger than half of the creature's body. While it doesn't have pincers at the end, the claw has a pistol-shaped feature that is made up of two parts. When released, a hammer-like part snaps into the other part of the claw. When the claw is snapped, a cavitation bubble is produced, which can reach speeds exceeding 60 miles per hour and produce a sound reaching more than 200 decibels. As the bubble collapses, it can result in temperatures approaching more than 4,700 degrees Celsius, which is nearly as hot as the surface of the sun. The combination of sound and pressure produced by the bubble is powerful enough to stun or paralyze small fish and even smash through glass jars. Number 4. Colorful crustaceans. A fisherman plying his trade off the coast of Scotland in 2015 really struck gold when he pulled this animal out of the water. The lobster's unique gold coloration is thought to be the result of genetic mutation or some outside stimulus. Experts really don't have a clear answer as yet, although it is said to be a 1 in 5 million occurrence. But another lobster caught in 2013 off the coast of Maine was 10 times as rare. It had a two-tone shell that was split evenly down the middle with one side black and the other side orange. Experts say the Halloween-hued animal is a 1 in 50 million occurrence. The creature was named Harley Quinn due to its resemblance to a Harlequin court jester. Number 3. Tasmanian giant freshwater crayfish. Now this critter is unique in several ways. It's called a crayfish when it's actually a lobster. It's found only in the rivers of northern Tasmania, and it's the world's largest freshwater invertebrate. They've been documented weighing up to 13 pounds and measuring more than 30 inches long. The critter you see in the picture would appear to be around those dimensions, or at least is one of the larger specimens. Due to the large size and formidable appearance, they have no natural predators. And while we couldn't find a credit for the photographer, we identified the man seen gingerly holding the big crustacean as Todd Walsh. He's a noted expert on lobsters and the crayfish in particular. He's among experts in Tasmania seeking to protect the endangered animals from the effects of deforestation and illegal fishing. Number 2. Skeleton Shrimp The appearance of these deep-sea denizens can throw a big scare into you, but they're actually minuscule in size. The marine predators measure only about a few millimeters long and are named for their slender, translucent bodies. Their pale coloration allows them to blend in with seaweed on the ocean floor, where they patiently lie in wait for prey. Their fearsome hooked legs and angular appearance have evoked comparisons to the praying mantis. Like that insect, the females of some species of this shrimp are known to consume the males after mating is consummated. Did you know that population explosions of these tiny terrors can threaten large commercial fish? The shrimp can outcompete them for plankton and lay waste to newborn fish fry. Number 1 undersea wood louse. Workers at a shark station in the Bahamas noticed that odd teeth markings had appeared on cables of the undersea camera system. Taking a closer inspection at the cables, it seemed that the damage was made by an enormous crustacean gnawing upon them. An official at the Bahamas Cape Eleuthera Institute made the right deduction, one that measured around a foot long. Wood lice are crustaceans that normally measure about one centimeter long. Now that's on land, anyway. Under the sea, the wood louse can grow to sizes much larger than their terrestrial cousins. It was identified as Bathinimus giganteus, and it's normally found at depths of around 8,500 feet. Its larger size is thought to be an example of deep sea gigantism. In the cold, deep waters of the oceans, crustaceans and invertebrates tend to be larger than those found in shallower waters. The critter has legs arranged in seven pairs and four sets of jaws. Those sharp mandibles had chewed through the camera cables. Normally, though, the creatures are content to feed on dead shrimp, fish, and whales. They're known to be common in the Gulf of Mexico, where they can grow to be more than two feet long. <laughs> 